So we do have the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. That is love, but then that is silence, right? We we still have emotions. They still have emotions for us. But then that is a world of silence between the two of you. Five of Pentacles left out in the cold. I need time and I need space. Can you please walk away? Rejection, right? And yet that is still love. Ten of Cups, you know, you made me happy. Page of Wands in reverse. No communication again. We know pages are about communication. Nobody speaks to the other person. So how can we solve a headache if we don't talk, right? No, I'm just saying, you know, sometimes. Sometimes while I while while I, I do the readings I get frustrated by myself. It's like oh please. Bottom of the deck, eight of wands in reverse. So right now, um, Cancer, right? You know that. I mean, that is nothing new that I'm announcing you here. Eight of wands in reverse is that is a little bit of a stagnation there. Six of pentacles, fighting for balance. Six of swords, <coughs> three of pentacles, three of wands. Waiting on this person. Might be a fire sign. We do have the queen of wands here. If it shows up, no, we have to take it. Okay. I'm gonna take it. Ten of ten of swords. They betrayed the hell out of this commitment. Um, well, somebody here, Cancer, and this uh, might be very well you. We need peace of mind. I mean, for the love of God, right? We've um, have given everything. Six of Pentacles. We reciprocated the love. We were very passionate about them. There was a sense of partnership with the Three of Pentacles. We've built something. And Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they might have walked away. And now we are waiting on them and nothing happens, right? So let's see the overall energy, right? Nothing new there. We gave everything and somebody walked away and took their love or your love with them. Um might be a kind of a far away love six of swords with the three of wands right is um a long distance love maybe they are from another country and um now we are waiting we are staying here like a child waiting for mom to bring us candy kind of energy i'm just saying they were sweet right it's here in the uh, in the energies so cancer past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies current energies on your side the person you are dealing with mutual energies of course and let's see the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck judgment oh yeah <clears throat> judgment seven of swords temperance three of swords justice in reverse are you kidding me strength and the tower they've made a mess cancer right they've made a mess there was a decision a decision about cheating lying deceiving that put the whole connection out of balance somebody made a decision you know what we might have good inner pastures over to the neighbor right and they went and they did something and now we are coping with the whole uh, partnership being a little bit you know on the rocks waiting on but let's see um well cancer in the past seven of wands in reverse and ace of pentacles this is an energy of in and out connection um ace of pentacles in reverse is an energy of rejection seven of wands in reverse is the energy of allowing um so probably there was no thank you then okay we'll come back together then no thank you somebody walked away and then does that is a lot of energy and it's like uh, going around in cycles and now this is one of the cycles where we are waiting on this person to come back to finally continue to build whatever you started in the past. I do love the Ace of Pentacles and I do love the Three of Pentacles because it tells me when it was working, it was good. It felt solid. It felt like we are building something. And again, maybe you are working with this person or you had, um, you know, a business relationship with this um a soulmate of yours and when it was good it was good and we are building um step by step brick by brick but when it went all over the place we really needed distance and peace of mind and working on our uh, balance and um 
you know, getting back in emotional shape. Honestly, it's kind of intense, but we'll see. Now, the person you are dealing with, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, bound to you like crazy, connected to you like crazy, uh, dependent on you in some way like crazy, stressed about. I don't know what they were. I mean, this is really tiptoeing. Um, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords is a world of stress. Nine of Swords was in reverse. Um, and, and it's the energy cancer of even away from you, they were bound to you. That's the Eight of um, Swords and then the Nine of Swords, right? It's an energy of not having peace of mind, but working towards and the fact that they, that is a codependency here, but not devil-like, more of I cannot move. I have to stay here for a reason or I have to. You know, there is um, kind of an unhealthy kind of bond that they had, but it was in their mind um, more than in uh, the natural, um, you know, um, world between you and this person. Mutual energies, page of swords. Oh yeah, when communication was good, that's good. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, but when stress would kick in, it would be the end of the world, nine of swords. Both of you stressed like crazy about this, and I don't know if it's a different kind of vibe. Um, on their side, they have a lot of mental energies and a lot of conflictual kind of um, energy being stress creating scenarios. On your side, you're like, you know, allowing them in and then maybe not allowing them in and then allowing, but way too much stress, you know? Uh, it's like this connection feels like a, a piece of work. Um, you know, it's like really um, demanding a lot of um, uh, mental stability, mental health, balance, good ideas, good communication, otherwise, um, you know. So I'm just saying, Cancer. Okay. Um, that was reciprocation. If you are wondering, Cancer, if they had emotions for you, of course, Six of Pentacles as the overall energy. It is an energy of reciprocation. Three of Pentacles, an energy of building. Somebody was serious about you, if that was your question. Um, but then there was this, um, maybe they were quite intense or maybe their mind was maybe from, from time to time, you know, um, maybe because of their job, maybe because of family issues or whatever. Somebody was highly reactive, right? That's the energy of the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, very reactive to to the environment, to the connection, to you maybe, you know. Um, this is the energy I'm picking up. Um, Cancer, where do we have you right now? Two of Wands in reverse. We don't want to turn our back on this situation. We might still have uh, ideas that this might work and we have Four of Pentacles. We are even willing to take a chance, take a risk, be less self-protective and um, and open up a little bit more, right? Four of Pentacles upright is about really self-protection, self-centered, focusing on money, my own environment, please don't touch me, you know, kind of energy and in reverse is like, okay, now I'm open, now what, you know? I don't want to let you go, now what? You know, kind of energy. Uh, but still, still we need peace of mind. Uh, Six of Swords is the energy of healing. I feel more, I'm sensing more as a need. Um, a need to heal and a need, a need to get back in balance and also a need to get things moving because right now we are in a world of stagnation. We don't know what's going on, but we are open to whatever the universe want to bring back. Um, on their side, they are manifesting you, Cancer. We do have the magician and we have the moon in reverse. If they were silent, they want to open up. If they were not... Um, knowing what to do now they do right with the magician this is having the tools gaining confidence and the moon in reverse speaks of somebody healing a, 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 a mental health issue some depression some anxiety being in their emotions so much so and uh, and having and working towards this energy of manifesting good health right that's a moon or good emotional kind of health and it is, I don't know, um, Cancer, um, who you are dealing with, but there is an energy of imbalance over here. And um, and thank God is paired with the magician because this is manifestation, this is law of attraction. Um, looking for the tools, having the tools, uh, gaining strength and power. So 
to change something in their life. Oh, I love this, Cancer, because mutual energies right, right now between the two of you, we have the Two of Cups in reverse and it's paired with the Two of Cups upright. So from emotional disconnection to soulmate bond, right? Somebody is awakened, somebody is aware with a magician. Somebody is more open to allow this uh, relationship to happen or to this love to happen again. And it, uh, it's a new cycle coming. Can also be because there was a rejection here. Ace of Pentacles, there was a no thank you. And now we allow love in. Both of you, you want to allow love in. Um, and um, again, this bond, this um, energy of we are connected, right? Body, mind, and soul. And I have emotions and I love you. That's a two of cups, right? And you are mine kind of energy. And I know we fight. I mean, we have here energies of stress. But there is love, so... I mean, if you can take all this in, me, fights and love, I don't know exactly how this goes. But I uh, can understand all this. Um, you know, and it's, um, it's really from emotional distance to soulmate bond. I love this. And they love you. If that was your question, Cancer, um, if in all the craziness that is love, oh yeah, that is love and that is manifestation, a desire to build, but might come uh, like full package with extra bonuses of some sort, you know. I'm just saying. Um... Second week of March, Cancer, we do have the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Wands. We're going to be, uh, we're going to have to be patient about this new beginning. Ace of Wands, that is one on the table, but the situation is still out of balance. Somebody is out of balance. For now, reciprocation is like on the rocks um, till we have the divine timing, till we have the right moment for this new beginning. And this is on your side. And I wonder, maybe right now we have you a little bit open. Um, wanting to take a chance to take a risk not turning your back on the situation but then March might be a month where you know we need to focus on um, self-care uh, balance a decision of some sort fairness justice to the situation of some sort you know that um, energy of giving and receiving kind of analyzing all this um, cancer the person you are dealing with they want to heal the situation we do have the five of wands. This is an in reverse. This is an energy. I'm no longer conflicted about this. I am manifesting love with you. I'm manifesting a connection. And I'm in pure love. This is really from the two of cups in reverse to two of cups upright. This is pure love. And being awakened to pure love and wanting to find a solution to a headache. Ten of swords in reverse. They want to heal whatever was broken between you and this person and however they um, hurt you, they want to find a solution. Five of Wands in reverse, right? Resolution of a hurt. Mutual energies between the two of you. Are you kidding me? I just love this. The Fool and the Magician manifesting a new beginning. Both of you manifesting a new beginning. This is really wanting and asking the universe, can you please give me again? You know, I'm not going to be a fool this time. I'm going to be smart and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be open and I'm going to take a risk and a chance and I'm going to be happy and I'm going to um, have um, childlike energy, you know, um, kind of uber enthusiastic about this. Oh yeah, new beginnings. Absolutely. I love this. And it comes from different places. One of, I know I've hurt you, so I want to make things up. And on your side, it's like, let me be cautious about reciprocation. Let, let me make sure they will reciprocate first, because in the past, you were the one giving, actually. So, I'm just saying. Um, Cancer, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need, to, what we are guided to do. So we have surrendered to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Well, this is a new world of possibilities. The Fool and the Magician. This is really a new world of possibilities. Of courage, of um, confidence, having the tools, manifesting, applying law of attraction, law of vibrations, all that. Surrender to receiving support and love. Um, cancer 
Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. So if you need help, this is actually the guidance, right? To call family and friends, ask them to come over, presenting yourself with the PJs at their house and sleeping there, you know? <laughs> I know I have friends who do that when, when they are kind of disappointed. I, I see them in front of my door with a PJ. So <laughs> just saying, that's a good, that's a good way. Um, I'm just saying. Well, let's see. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. I love this. Take a relaxing break and spend time in, nat in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. You know what tells me, um, Cancer, this guidance, right? Because we, we, we ask, right? What, what Cancer needs to surrender to um, in order to th for things to get back in balance? And, and that is an energy of healing. So I don't know how bad this person hurt you because on, on their side, there is a lot of hurt, but I believe both of you, you are hurt, you know? And now that the guidance is, please get more grounded. Please surround yourself with love and support people who love you unconditionally. And, um, and let's get back in balance, right? Overall energy, six of pentacles. And yet the second month, of, the second week of uh, March, we have the six of pentacles in reverse. So balance might be um, getting back in balance might be actually the focus and we also have six of swords which is the energy of peace of mind so i don't know if you are troubled by something uh, but the energy is please get more grounded please surround yourself with um love you know and um and people and now we have surrender denial on the bottom of the deck i'm just saying i don't know what you are pushing away believing that it will uh, walk away, it will disappear or whatever. I don't know what denial we have, right? Denial is all about analyzing the situation like a 360, uh, assessing the uh, the deep energy of it and trying to understand what, <clears throat> what you don't tell yourself or what you keep away yourself from. So we have accept people in situation exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. Um, yeah, it's kind of maybe, you know, the energy of um, not telling the truth, not even to yourself. So maybe that is um, a starting point over there. Because, uh, I mean, you have the magician twice. This connection has the magician, which is, again, um, the law of vibrations, right? Vibrating on the same uh, frequency. We have the law of attraction manifesting each other and not letting go of each other. We have love right in the middle of the reading, two of cups twice. So, um, but it's like there is something troubling around this that we need to heal, we need to ask for help, we need to have people involved uh, who will have our back, right? That's the uh, receiving support and love. So, I'm just saying, <clears throat> I'm just saying there is a lot of love and manifestation in this um, connection of yours. Um, Cancer, in terms of zodiac signs, we do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else? Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, right? We have Pisces energy. And that's about it. You don't have a lot of zodiac signs, actually. <clears throat> so it's uh, less confusing, right? Um, if not, hey, this is all that I have for you, um, Cancer. I really um, want you to stay strong and safe. As always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come with me next time. Love you. Take care.